He's like, yo, how much you pay for that? I was like, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. story time that recently happened not too long ago so the story is still fresh in our brain and it's so <laughs> so funny what's to us and it will be to you so where do we start should i start up or you want to start, start from off? when i was in bed and sis came to my house banging down my door talking about to go where were you we going to a christmas to a birthday party to a birthday party and I'm like, you know, I really don't want to go. Sunday is my rest day. Like, I'd rather just stay home. She's like, please just come with me. Just come with me. So after like 30 minutes of dragging it, I finally get up. And you know, that should have been forever. That should have been it right there. It should have been. My intuition telling me not to go outside. So when you get in the car, I'm like, you know what? I don't care. You're driving because I'm not driving to this place. It was like maybe it was an far. hour and some change away from where like, we live. Yeah. It was pretty far. It was pretty far. So I'm like, I'm not driving, I don't care, whatever. She's like, I don't care, I'll drive. I was like, damn, I thought that would get her because she hates driving. So, not today. We get in the car, we're driving. And you know, my car is very like sensitive. So you have to like be very, you know, mindful of how you drive him. And you know, the way you, you, you do things with him. So I think I'm the only one that knows how to drive my car because that's my son and that's just my baby but everybody else seems to have a problem every time they drive ah. so she's driving we're driving and i'm feeling the car trembling and i'm like you don't feel the car trembling she's like no <laughs> i'm like no you don't feel the car trembling because you're just trying to get to where you're trying to get to you don't even care that this car is about to break down so now i'm like getting worried because every time she puts her foot on the acceleration pad it trembles even harder. Like so, it was shaking so hard to the point where the dashboard, there was like papers on the dashboard and I'm watching the dash, that the papers. Was not yes, doing I'm all watching the dash, the papers on the it. dashboard shake. I'm like, you don't I think I would have noticed that. You were too busy driving. And then she's driving mad fast, trying to get to wherever she's going to. She don't even care that every time she put her foot on the acceleration pad, the car is not even accelerating. It's taking so long to take off. So I'm like, that's I an issue. I thought you just needed some gas. So I was just like, we're going to no. stop at the gas station. So we get on the highway now. Well, we were on like a not like a boulevard. So it's, it's yeah. like a mini highway kind of thing. So now we get on the highway. I'm like, okay, get out the driver's seat. I need to drive because now I'm getting worried. I started to smell smoke. So I'm like, yeah, you don't smell smoke. smoke? She's like, no, it's just the rubber from the other cars driving. Well, that happens. I'm like, sis, the, the set is too small. It's coming. It's too strong. It's coming through these vents, okay? Something is wrong in that ignition, and I'm not about to blow up with you. So I'm ah! like, you don't smell smoke? She's like, no. I'm like, okay, get out the driver's seat. I need to drive. I get into the driver's seat now. I'm putting my foot on the... So now you know when you're the actual driver, you feel everything, the intensity of everything that's going on. I'm like, nah, there's no way... She was driving this no, car and did not feel it. anything, okay? The car was driving smoothly. No, it was not. It was just not picking up as fast as it should. So now, as I we're driving, you know. so we take off, and then I'm looking at smoke coming from my hood. So I'm like, the car is smoking. I start, now I start panicking, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You had your shades on. You would have knew the car was smoking. But you had no. the black ass shades no. on. I then saw the smoke from coming from Men it. in Black. At first, I smelled it. Now I'm looking at it come from the hood. I'm like, the car she is smoking. She has to lift up my glasses. Look. <laughs> I'm like, got it. The car is smoking. She's like, you think so? Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the smoke. So I'm like, we're pulling over. It was over. a hot summer day. Okay? She's like, well, I'm like, we're pulling over on the next exit. I don't oh, care. I'm man. going to the next exit. I need to find a mechanic because I need to know what's wrong with my Get car. Get off the exit. So now I'm looking at a gas station right off the exit that says, mechanic on hand so i'm so i'm like yes we're good we're about to go to this gas station they're about to diagnose the car i'm gonna know what's wrong with the car we get to the gas station 
closed. Mechanic is closed. It's a Sunday. So now, so at this point now, we're in Queens. We, we came from Brooklyn. We're in Queens. Like the right. beginning of Queens. And we're trying Queens. to get to Long Island. And we're trying to get to Long Island. So now I'm like, geez. So now she's like, oh, it must be the antifreeze. So now she starts diagnosing the concept. <laughs> So she's like, it must be the antifreeze. I'm like, no, I just got an oil change. There's antifreeze in the car. They did a full service. They put oil, everything. Antifreeze, coolant, all that stuff. So it's not that. She's like, yes, it is. You never listen. So now I'm like, I go yeah. to the lady that's at the booth, at the, um, go, whatever, the, the gas station booth. And I'm asking her if there are any ma- mechanics nearby if she knows any mechanics nearby she said no the only mechanics she knows are the mechanics here but they're close so now i'm like okay i gotta make my brain work because it's either that or we're gonna be stranded here or i gotta leave this car in this gas station or because i'm not about to pay no tow truck to drag it so i'm like okay so i called my dad he's no help of course he's just calling me and my sister stupid what did we do to the car right <laughs> so i'm like okay I'm asking friends around, do they know any mechanics in Queens, blah, blah, blah. Like, that didn't help. I see the movies, and my dad told me that if the car ever has a problem, because I'm a pretty girl, just open the hood and stand there like I know what I'm doing, and a guy is bound to pull over to help us, right? They even take two seconds. Mind you, I don't even know how to open the hood, so now we're fighting trying to figure out how to open the hood of the car. And I'm like, I don't I'm scared to touch it because the car is smoking. So I'm like, I'm not trying to go next to that thing, open the hood, and the whole thing just blow up. No, I'm not. I'm not well, with that. I remember that. there was a button inside that you. So pulled. she's like, so I pulled the um the thing from inside, so the the right the so hook that of, to be like, that's to be for the hood. She's yeah. like, no, 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 because I remember in this person's car, this is what they did. So she starts swiping <laughs> her hand on. <laughs> And she's like, I found this right here. So she clicked it, opened the hood. So now the hood is open. All right, so now that's progress, right? So we're standing there with the hood open, and then my hood doesn't stay open on its own, so someone has to physically yeah. hold it and open. And guess who that was? And it's heavy. Yeah, it was very heavy. Oh, oh like you man. Much holding. So then, you were dragging it the whole time. I was time. scared the car was about to blow up. Oh, my God, just let me hold the hood. So we're standing there. So some guy comes in to the gas station, right? So I'm like, this is it, Dino. You better work, right? So she's we're standing there, and he comes in, and he's, I don't even think he pumped gas. I think he just came to the gas station because he saw us standing there, or he was going that way to get to wherever he, he was going. To, it looked like he was trying to do a shortcut. Right, he was going through the gas station. So mm-hmm. he's even like, that's against the law. He's like, you guys need help? And I'm like, um, I think so. Then he's like, I'm yes. telling her what it is. This is and we know what it is. Car, oh. like, come, 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 help us, come help us. And this one look like she's scared. So me, life. I'm scared for a while because I'm still like, yeah, I'm not trying to get my face blown off in nobody's ignition. I don't even have time. But then I felt a little safer because he's a man, and he was actually driving like a car, duh. And he was driving. He wasn't the passenger. He was actually the driver. So I'm like, he must know something. Okay, great. So he gets out the car. He's telling us how beautiful we are. I'm like, yes. This is it. This is exactly what daddy said. It's going to work. So he's like, so what you guys need help with? He's like, so he's looking in the hood. He's picking and up I'm caps. Saying, and he's agreeing with me. I'm like, yeah. He's picking up caps. And he's like, yeah, it must be an antifreeze. Turn the car on. And I'm like, I told I you. The, yeah, she I told going you. In. Going I told you. He just don't want to listen. So now I'm calling my dad. And I'm telling him like all of this. And she's talking to him. And he's telling her, let me speak to Joanne. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, daddy, I gotta go because you're not no help right now. Hang up the phone with him. Now this guy is telling me that it's the antifreeze. The car has no antifreeze, it has no coolant, and this is why the, the, the engine is overheating. This is why the car is smoking. I'm like, okay, I know enough about cars to know if the car was overheating, the little dial in on the dashboard would have been up to hot, not in the middle. Right. Okay. So and then, then it's so like, I'm like, it's not that. He's like, I'm telling you, that's what it then is. Then you went and purchased antifreeze. So I went and purchased antifreeze for like thirteen dollars, twelve thousand change. <laughs> Don't remember how much exactly it was, right? So I go I purchase the antifreeze. I'm like, you know, I might need more antifreeze later on down the line if the car had antifreeze the other day and now all of a sudden you don't have antifreeze. And we thought the car. So was I bought the biggest antifreeze they had at the gas station. So we go in. He's Picking up caps, like looking like he know what he's doing, unbuckling shit in the engine. And then he's like, Yeah, you see what I'm telling you, Ma? I'm telling you, the antifreeze is empty. I'm like, No, that's windshield wiper because 
My one year old wiper thing has a hole because my dad poked a hole in it when he was fixing something in the car. So it was windshield wiper. He's like, nah, that's the antifreeze right there. This is the coolant. Okay, I go buy the antifreeze. He opens the antifreeze. It is antifreeze. And now he's about to pour the antifreeze. He goes, wait. No, 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 ma. You, you, you got you. antifreeze. That's not antifreeze in there. He's looking in the wrong container. So now this, because I spent $13 yes. on antifreeze that I did not need. So now I'm like, He's like, yo, how much you pay for that? I was like, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. So now, this so point, now we move on. We move to the next thing now. Now it's the oil. And now they're accusing me of not having oil in the car. I'm like, bro, I just got an oil change the other day. Oh my He's God. like, it got to be the oil. If it's it not the coolant. And I'm like, I'm you know, you. it looks dry. Then she's, <laughs> she's disagreeing with anything she, he says. And yeah, she's calling like my dad. It. You see, daddy, I told her it's the oil. She doesn't listen. Now they're accusing me. I don't maintain the car. I don't go take the car to get an oil change. I'm like, bro, I got an oil change the other day, right? So this is where it gets funnier.